Hey guys, my name's Justin Graziano. I'm a product photographer and I'm gonna show you how to take epic product photography like this. For those of you guys that don't know me, I've spent the last three years creating content for small independent breweries underneath the name Beer Breath Co. But on this channel, you'll find me shooting a wide variety of different products, but today, we're going to focus on beer. The beer we're going to be shooting today is a Pecan Pie Imperial Stout, brewed by Bottle Logic Brewing out of Anaheim, California. Our goal of this shoot is to make the beer stand out and to let the viewer know what they can expect when they drink this beer, which is pecan pie. One of the key things I love to do in my product photography is use props. So for this beer, I obviously had to use pecan pie. As you can see, this is the aftermath of the photo we've already taken. Using props helps add visual details to help tell your story as well as add a little bit of eye candy for your viewer. Another thing to keep in mind when shooting beer is to use proper glassware. The style of glass you use will ultimately determine the style of beer you're shooting and potentially the quality of the beer. As for my gear, I'll be shooting on my Sony a7 III with a 50mm 1.8 and two Flashpoint 8200s. For this photo, I want to keep the label nice and crisp, so I'll be shooting with an aperture of f10 at 1 160th of a second with an ISO of 100 to make sure we get the clearest image as possible. And another thing to take note of is that I will be shooting with large rectangle soft boxes that will help provide me nice clean highlights onto my subject. As for my lighting, I like to add as much dimension as possible. I do this by setting up my first light at about a 45 degree angle for my subject and placing my second light behind my subject, which adds a nice rim light, helping separate my subject from the background. Here's a quick example of how big of an impact that backlight can make to your photos. As you can see on the image on your left, it's shot without a backlight, and the image on your right is shot with a backlight, which adds that nice rim light, helping separate the glass from the background. Once you have your lighting set up, the next most important thing I like to focus on is my composition, which is trying to find a nice balance inside your frame that's pleasing to the eye. This is where your props can play a huge role in helping fill the frame as well as help guide your viewer's eyes to the subject. For this photo, I wanted to place the pie slices facing towards the center of the frame, then they added the pecans from the foreground, which helped guide my viewer's eyes to the main focus of the photo, which is the beer. Once you have your composition dialed in, go ahead and snap a few photos. So here's the photo I just took. It's already starting to look pretty cool, but it doesn't feel epic enough to me. So what I like to do is add a little bit of movement to my photos. I do this by either tilting the can, throwing some objects through the frame, or making liquid splash. So let's go ahead and throw in a splash into this one. I start by removing all my props out of the frame, leaving just the glass in the photo. The reason I do this is so I don't damage any of my props or waste any food during the process as it tends to get pretty messy. To create my splashes, I like to use these fake acrylic ice cubes that I bought off Amazon. They have just enough weight to create a splash and so far I haven't broken any of my glassware using them. So let's go ahead and check out some of the splashes I just captured. I usually will repeat this process about two to three times, maybe even more if I can't capture the splash I'm looking for, but I think these look great. So now that I've captured my splash, the last thing I want to do for this photo is to shoot some of the pecans falling through the air. You can do this either by dropping handfuls of the object you want to capture, or if you want to make sure that you get the sharpest focus possible, you can put them onto a string or a wire and shoot them that way. Once you've captured all the photos you need to composite your final image, take them into Lightroom and Photoshop, and you'll be left with photos like these. I hope you guys found this behind the scenes look of how I would approach product photography helpful. These are just the steps and techniques I have used and I found helpful for my workflow. I know there are a ton of different ways to execute photos like these, so if you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comments below. If you guys want to see a video of how I would edit these kind of photos, I will be posting a video on that very soon. I hope you guys decide to stick around and check out more of my videos. If you do, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And until then, I will see you in the next one.